out there and just being able to do what you can do. Go uh, back. I think it was a good time, uh, first game, going out there and um, being able to hit some other guys on another team and test yourself out. Can you assess the way the run game worked as a whole? Um, I thought we showed – I thought we showed some positives in the run game. I thought we showed that we can be a, a good run, a good, a, have a good run game. Um, but I think that we need, we definitely need to cut down on some errors that cause a lot of negative plays. And once you get a negative play, now you're behind, and now you kind of tie the hands of the of the play caller because you're not in great downs, you know, great situations for a run game. So, what, what were some of those errors? Um, I'm not going to get into the uh, nitty gritty um, details on it, but just, you know, some misassignments, some things where we lined up in unfavorable positions sometimes, um, you know, not taking the right angles, just really first game mistakes. So I think we'll clean it up for next week. How much can the return of Puka help with some of that? Um, it can definitely help a lot. You know, we have a great stable of backs. I really, I really have faith in a lot of them. Um, every guy we put out there, I have faith in, but Puka definitely adds a, an extra um, talent. Uh, you know, his acceleration is, is special. So uh, Puka adds, a, a, you know, another guy that can make a really electric play for us. So. I think Coach called him Puka plays just when he goes and does something remarkable. Have you had the chance to see many of those fall camp and, and uh, up to now? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know. He, Puka does some things where you know with his feet or his acceleration, you know, watching him in one on ones mm -hmm. um, that you kind of go, wow, you know, that's not everyday stuff. So, definitely. Were you aware of him before you uh, got up here? I mean, like you obviously grew up in Baton Rouge. I know he's from the New Orleans area. Did you ever hear about him, like when he was in high school or anything like that? Yeah, like, definitely. Um, I think Puka came out the year after me. Um, so definitely, I think we were probably on some. Um, similar recruiting trails. Um, I don't think I never met him, um, or I don't think I, I may have. I don't know if I ever was in a camp with him, but I mean, definitely Hanville's a good program. So you, you know, you know of good programs, good players in the area. What's this whole experience been like getting back together with your family, in one city? You know, playing with your brother, playing for your dad. Uh, it's awesome. It's really awesome. You know, um, it's fun getting coached by your dad sometimes. Sometimes it's hard, but, um, you know, he really is has, you know, I feel like some extra detail with me. Um, and so that's a good thing at the end of the day. And he, he definitely knows what he's talking about when he coaches fullbacks especially. You know, uh, I said this in another interview. If you want to play offensive line, I mean any position, but if you want to specialize in, in a piece of a run game, uh, take my dad out of it who who better than Les Miles you know um so but you know just him being my dad is even better and being in the same huddle with Manny is really nothing that's ever happened with organized um organized football with us pads he was always that uh three years older than me in Little League so um I don't think we ever played on the same team on Little League because when I would move up he would have to move up and um and then I transferred to high school, so we never got to do that. So this is the first time doing that, and it's fun, you know, lining up behind him and I and catching passes from him sometimes. So when I, when I talked to him, he mentioned that he enjoys the home cooked meals he's getting now. What's what's your favorite home home cooked meal that you're getting back whenever you go visit uh, your mom's house? Um, definitely. Uh, I'll probably say uh, I'll give you three. I'll give you three: um, pork chops, um, baked chicken, and gumbo. So. Hey, how did the decision kind of come about for, I guess, you to end up here? Um, re really, it was it was a really difficult decision because mm -hmm. I I really had great I had a great opportunity at A and M, yeah. and um, and I really loved my my coaches, Coach Graham and Coach Fisher. Man, I have the most uh, utmost respect for those guys, and and the, I learned a lot and I took a lot from from that program. Um, but really, as summer kind of winded down, as football came, uh, there was a need for me in this program, and um, and it was a need for me to you know go home and, and fill that void. Mm -hmm. um, not that there's a void; we have good fullbacks here, but you know, mm -hmm. add to this team. Um, and so, really, 
It was a decision to be closer to home, a decision to play for your dad, to play with your brother. Um, so it was it was a difficult one, but it, it was a good decision. Les said there had been maybe a couple times in practice that he pulled you aside, started coaching you, and then realized, like, oh, wait, this is my son. Have you had any of those moments where he's getting on to you and you're like, hey, Dad, what's going on? <laughs> um, definitely, definitely. I mean, he kind of stands behind us. And so when you're kind of watching a, a run game, a lot of the times it's a fullback's job to make make it right, you know. So um, in run game, it's kind of like, uh, you know, quarterbacks always got to get coached and run game kind of fullbacks always got to get coached because there's an issue sometimes. We are, we're that free hitter that can make the, the play work anyway. Um, so, and a lot of times the back's following you. So you have to make the, the first right, right cut and the first right read. So um, definitely it leads to being coached a lot by the head coach because you're kind of the point of attack on, on a lot of plays. Does he give you a hard time about anything? Yeah, so, I mean, sometimes, yeah, definitely. Uh, no no harder than, you know, I say Hudson. Hudson gets coached by my dad very regularly as well. I really, I, I don't think that there's much special treatment or extra um, attention that I get. Um, but I, I get a lot of it simply because of my position. Sure. Um, but definitely, you know, um, he gets very detailed on it, and, and he'll top, stop and take time to coach me. And then is it a challenge to block for a guy like Puka just because he's so fast that it seems like you give him the ball and he can be you know, downfield a lot quicker than a lot of guys? Um, yeah. Um, some, I mean, there's certain plays that certain plays that take time to develop and you have to read them. Um, and certain plays, you know, you know, I got a guy back there that can really run, so I have to get moving fast. Mm -hmm. um, and it helps you, and it, it, it also helps you because, you know, you make contact with him and he's gone. So it, it, it really helps you more than anything, but it is just, an, it's kind of an extra thing in the back of your head, like, man, I got to take these steps and go. Yeah. You've given some insight into playing the fullback position. How does how does somebody start playing fullback? It's not a position a lot of people aspire to wanting to play. What you know? How did that start? I mean, did you were you always a fullback? Was that something where you got put when you were in high school, when you were in middle school? How'd that happen? Um, I, in Little League, I always wanted to play fullback because I was always on the line, and I was always the kid that was like, man, I'm I know I'm big, but I'm athletic enough to be in the backfield, you know, um, and really. As I grew, I kind of just saw a lot of times, like, you know, looking at the LSU guys and my dad's previous teams, it was kind of like, man, I kind of I kind of favor this guy a lot, you know. Um, and one of those guys was Connor Neighbors. Uh, I, I kind of always looked up to him in ways. And, um, and so, you know, the writing was on the wall as, you know, what my options were to be. Um, I'm sure if I was 6'5", then I would – you know, like we play tight end or want to, you know, play defensive end or say, you know, like give me a jump ball. But, um, you know, you kind of see what you are. And so from high school, I, I chose the decision to be in a program with the fullback so that I could recruit, get recruited to play fullback and, um, and kind of work on my craft. So you talk about obviously growing up around the programs that your dad coached and going through the recruiting process do you feel like there was more pressure on you as a high school player like everybody was like hey that's less miles kid you know he's he, he's gonna have to make a play for us he knows what it takes did you ever feel that from your teammates when you were in high school and growing up um you know i could say yes but here's the thing about any pressure uh first college um, game action, first high school game action, playing in a state championship, you know, you nervous, you're nervous for a first couple plays and then you, you get out there and you're not thinking about anything extra than what's my read on this, you know, what, where's the guy that I have to block on this, you know, um, that's it. So pressure regardless, I'd say in most situations, at least situations that I've handled, it subsides after a couple plays. What's your favorite thing about playing fullback? Just um, making that big block, you know, um, being able to provide um, a, a hit that can, you know, jack a team up or get a first down or, you know, lead in for a touchdown. Just uh, it's, it's a team oriented position and I love that about it. What's it like to be able to play one of the last positions really left where they've not been able to legislate some of the violence away from it? I mean, you still get two, three yards full run at somebody before you, you can get really 
lay a big hit on somebody. Is that is that one of the things that really draws you to the position and wanting to play it with the passion that you do? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You kind of know that you know you have one of the most um, physical jobs out there, um, and so it's 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 kind of a it's it's not for the weak of heart, and um, and so that's a, kind of a, a strength of mine. I feel is you know a reason why I'm out here is because I can do those physical things.